Of our travels to Europe, the one that stands out most for me is the trip Fanny and I took to Normandy. We were on a cruise into Paris and 150 people on that cruise went and spent the day in Normandy. Now, as you remember, 2,000 Americans were killed on Omaha Beach in Normandy on June the 6th, 1944. The American cemetery where those soldiers are buried is just a about a hundred yards from the Omaha Beach. Now this sculpture that's here in this image is on the landing portion of the beach in uh, as a memorial to those soldiers. As we arrived at the monument there at the American Cemetery. The uh, monument is a large statue of a young man coming up out of the water. And the uh, group of 150 of us gathered around there and they had a ceremony. Uh, they wanted to lay a wreath at the bottom of that monument and uh, the MC asked if there were any veterans in the audience that wanted to lay that wreath. So I held up my hand and went up with two others came up. So the three of us veterans actually laid the wreath at the, at the base of the, of the monument. Then the MC said, if there are others in the audience, other veterans, if you'd come up, we'd like to honor you as well. About 20 other veterans came up. And uh, she went through all of the standard, thank you for your service, and uh, honoring the vac veterans, recognizing us. And then when she finished, the man standing beside me just turned to me, and he said, welcome home. Now that's a dead giveaway that he's a Vietnam vet, because we didn't get welcomed home. We, in fact, didn't even wear our uniforms when we came home. So recognizing that, I just said to him, when were you in country? And he said, 1968 and 69. Now, I want you to know that time stood still for me here. I was not prepared for this. It only lasted a few seconds. But immediately after he said that, two other men standing beside us at the same time said I was there in 1968 and 69. So here's what we have, four Vietnam veterans who were there at the same time, looking at each other, not needing to say anything because we all knew what our experience was and we could identify with one another. Standing over to the side, just uh, taking some pictures, was my wife, Fanny. And one of the pictures we noticed later was of the four of us standing there beneath that monument. Again, I was not prepared emotionally for this event. I, I don't talk about my time in Vietnam. I've only spoken about it one time. Uh, a good friend of mine, Dan Hurst, asked me to speak at the uh, Knoxville Area Rescue Mentions uh, Missions uh, Veterans Dinner for Homeless Veterans, and I couldn't turn him down. But I told Fanny afterwards that's the last time. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But this time was really something special for me. I was not prepared for the emotional impact that having those four of us Vietnam veterans standing there at the same time, each recalling our own unique experience, but all four of us, having a shared experience of being there at the same time. This is a shot of the uh, cemetery, the American Cemetery, and I just want you to appreciate the size of the cemetery and just how huge and how many crosses are there. As it pans on around, you can actually see the ocean and see the Omaha Beach just again a few yards from 